Mm. <gasps> okay, Vante, we're gonna have a conversation at the end of this. Now we get to the painting bit. Now, Fuko mm -hmm. was saying that the stars, what we know as stars, they do not exist in this world. But the method of travel that they had for warping, are they like enclosed within this sphere mm -hmm. and all of humanity? Because they, they showed the planet with the moon very briefly. I couldn't tell if there were any stars outside of that. Mm. I'm gonna have to go back and Indian, watch, but I don't know if this is that. all like the play area of like a ungodly being or something like that, mm. because we've seen that a couple times in the opening to where there's like this demonic thing with fangs, and right. I'm just like, is this thing just playing huh. God with the? So that's what I've been waiting to talk about for like a year and a <laughs> half with this series. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Vontae, the first the day portion of Mugen Eclipse. And it's me, Mr. Twitchy, the night portion of Moon Eclipse. We are back today with the third episode of Season 1 of Undead Unlock. Last episode, we want them seats, goddammit. We want them seats, man. Give me that! <laughs> Give me that! Uh, Fuko and Andy got pulled up on by the Union of Negator mm -hmm. Folk. <laughs> um, one being a robot. Other one being uh, somebody that can't dress for shit. I'm still on your ass about that. You dress crazy. <laughs> well, there's one seat open, so yeah, that, that, there's there's that for my little recap. So the other seat available because Shen I think has some beef with this member of the Union Ten, uh, mm -hmm. and sh that person I almost spoiled something. Uh, that person mm -hmm. is going to subdue an Uma in Russia. So Andy and Fuko are going to take his yacht to Russia and then meet up with some old war buddies. So, oh, right. there's a lot of stuff right, going right, on right. with that particular that. line. We need that seat and I don't want to do any more of a recap. Anything else you want to add before we get started? Nope. Last thing I would say is that you guys pull up every week, Friday, Saturdays. We're going to have that undead unlock for you guys. So like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Help us grow. We're trying to get to that 500 milestone. That also rhymed later by the end of the year. We're trying to get there. So Bars. if you help us, we really appreciate it. We're going <laughs> to have a lot of live streams for you guys. Maybe one day we'll have some giveaways too. You never Ooh. know. We can get there by like Christmas time or something. I got like 400 Funko Pops in my room. You guys can have some. See? <laughs> that being said, let's get into that Undead Unluck episode three. Right about now. Sound design all, always... I think in all insane? three of the episodes so far, we started out with sound design. Okay, so that was sand in a giant hourglass. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Gino. Gene. Gene? Right? Ooh, this is, animation is fire. It is silent. What is going on? Oh, because she's in space? Whoa. What the... Also, Andy's like a bajillionaire, I think. Like he's <laughs> Yeah, that's that that's the thing. I'm like, this man got a yacht. <laughs> Out of context, not <laughs> not a good look, Andy. You can make an Andy compilation, send that man to jail. <laughs> free my man's. No, don't free okay, my man. Like... Oh. oh yes! Whoa. <laughs> Hey. Frankie, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a fire em emblem, though. I do like it. Hmm. Unbreakable. Okay. I knew it had to be unbreakable. Hmm. Damn. She's over 50 years old. Right. <laughs> I know what I want to do for the thumbnail. <laughs> that I was able to love. What space nuke are you launching? One thing about being immortal is that you could consistently improve your skill set across every industry. Like, I would not be surprised if he is, like, doctor-level of anatomy. Right. 
at this point. That is true. Yeah. Plus, you could test anything on my, on yourself. So, although Sherm did tell us he feels pain, he feels in, it, yeah, all the time. <laughs> Repair boost. Boot! The amount of brain power necessary to pull off these type of plans. Right. Only a person that's lived for almost two hundred years could have the brain capacity to do that. That or a savant. Self destruct. Oh. Well. Well. Gotta go. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it'll be fun <laughs> playing a video game with him. <laughs> like, not only is he just doing crazy shit with his own body, but just all the other stuff that he knows how to do skill wise. <laughs> He's literally a GT coach. God damn, what the hell? No! Just saw off to the side. I didn't want to watch that. I said, suck it. <laughs> wow. No, success. <laughs> damn, that looks nice. Beautiful. <laughs> oh. Borsh. I also want to point out the fact that, like, they're from Jap Okay, perfect. Oh. Like, they're from nice. Japan. They wouldn't be able to speak Russian, but Andy probably knows how to speak Russian. Exactly. Oh. This is going to be your uh, little rival. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'll probably start out serious, and it'll probably end up being a gag, so we'll, we'll be all right eventually. <laughs> is she a weeaboo yeah. from Russia? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that looks nice. much better. Much better. That's nice. I like that. That'll probably be either the end cap or the, the starting mm -hmm. point. <laughs> yeah, it's on your hat. I like it. <laughs> well, it's gonna suck when we're gonna have to try to kill you. <gasps> okay, Vante, we're gonna have a conversation at the end of this. Am I not seeing it right, or am I? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna. They're, they're try. It's so in your face, like you probably know what, what the answer is. <laughs> I forgot you're old. Or older. Yep. Oh, yeah, not Ooh. a bit. It changed a lot. <laughs> oh, shit. Age has finally caught up to me. <laughs> Whoa. He got. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Dearest. Daddy dearest. Wow. That sound that would be the title of the episode. <laughs> it just sounds like it would. He called out the crow's feet. Whoa! Perfect five point landing. <laughs> what? Oh wow! Da -da 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 I ain't about to kill her though. She's no, she's different. She... <laughs> that is literally where I left off in the manga. But Maybe let like me know. another chapter or so. But whew, now get this amazing ED. Oh yeah. I'm just living life! Living life! So let me know, what, what was your... Ah, shit. We'll wait to the end. We'll wait to the end. Your... We'll wait to the end. Okay. <laughs> CD, man. Interesting that he had the scar and, like, the sword in him in his casket right so that obviously predates it and he did say something about like 
uh, like that won't like this is where I keep my memories or something like that. Yes, it suppresses his memory so he doesn't go crazy with all the information mm. that he's built up. Which is wild, because imagine if somebody stabs you there. How? Why would that be the marker for that? If that makes sense. <laughs> well, did he put it in there himself? Because the memories made him crazy. So he got a memory card, <laughs> or he don't? He got a uh, no. He's got a, a unmemory uh, USB, card. <laughs> yeah, USB chip. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, Andy. We love you. Nice. Mm. Just those pedals. All right. Okay, let me know. So I'm gonna start. <laughs> no, we're not watching this preview. I'm Go away. You. Okay. I hear you. I'm not looking at you. <laughs> so the conversation it it was it was twofold. First, they talked about mm -hmm. change versus not changing. So right. obviously, Fuko came up with the answer that she likes things that change because of her experiences mm -hmm. with Andy and brought her out of that dark pit that she was living yeah, in previously. Mm -hmm. And this individual i don't remember it gene was it gene yeah something like that gene, okay gina something yeah. gene um she likes things that don't change now obviously she looks a lot younger than 50 mm -hmm. or 60 mm -hmm. round about how old she would be um right and also things that don't change in terms of her power set i think to where if she creates something it doesn't stop until she decides not to let it change okay mm. so now we get to the painting bit now mm -hmm. fuko was saying that the stars what we know as stars they do not exist in this world it's a dark sky there is no stars that's what i was thinking about but i didn't like you said it was like it's obvious but you you like is is in your face. I thought about that, but I'm like, okay, maybe I'm just. So I started. I started thinking to myself that with the method of travel that they had for warping, are they like enclosed within this sphere, and all of humanity? Because they they showed the planet with the moon very briefly. I couldn't tell if there were any stars outside of that. Mm. I'm gonna have to go back and watch, yeah. but. The I don't know if this is that. all like the play area of like a ungodly being or something like that mm. because we've seen that a couple times in the opening to where there's like this demonic thing with fangs and right. I'm just like is this thing just playing huh. God with the so that's what I've been waiting to talk about for like a year and a <laughs> half with this series <laughs> because there's just so much behind that just one little scene she said the moon looks lonely, so I drew it some right. companions. What do you mean there's no stars? Right, right. Hmm. I'm sorry, I, too, I, like, I had to oh, I had to take over that discussion for a bit. Go ahead. Oh no, that's say. good. That's all right. You said <laughs> hey, you said you hadn't been talking about it for like a year or whatever. I think I even remember you in the Discord, I think like a while back, because I just peeped because when you were starting to read it, I think you even yeah. said something like, um, like you came up like with some kind of theory or something like that, but I didn't yeah. know. That was you know, it. Read into none of that, but yeah, um, it's interesting too because like she literally summoned basically, or with the unluck, summoned a meteorite. Yes. Like, where the hell did that come from? Like, I mean, obviously space, duh. But like, I don't know. There's something, and then like her when she killed her parents and all the people in the plane, something came down. Boom. Yeah, something came it's down. Do we know what that was? Nah, it was like. Damn. Hmm. For this, I want you to also remember the fact that the Jean, she was doing mm -hmm. something in space. In space. And she, yeah. and she saw directly down via a satellite where mm -hmm. Andy and Fuko was. Right. Hmm. I think with your theory about like this potential being a world, like some kind of Thing that a creator is like i guess toying with or, or playing with mm -hmm. i see that and going back to like uh what was that that really quick screenshot in episode one of like that deity looking oh, lady oh yes okay. I'm, I'm thinking something like that based off of what you just said with some kind of like god or somebody making this i'm going back to that because that seemed like a very specific uh design to a character yeah. um yeah that so far that's 
I was just, yeah, that's that's my part from uh, your theory. This is only addition, I'll say. <laughs> Something with that. But, and then, like, the powers itself, like, especially Foucault's power, power specifically, like, unlook. Like, how does that, so you're born with this power to pretty much bring in Wait, was she born with phenomena it? Phenomena. That's whatever. my question. Well, what, you know, what, whatever the origins is, she got the power and... And yes, that does change things. I'm not pushing it away. That that, that would change things if she got granted that power no, as no, go a ahead. kid or whatever. But like that power specifically seems so. It's like you're some you're summoning things. It's like you. It's like um, what's what's something I'm trying to relate this to? But yeah, like summoning. Like you're summoning something, even though for her it's like she wouldn't want none of that to happen because all she's doing is like touching people or being in contact with them. And then mm -hmm. shit happens, but it's it seems like it's something that's out of her control. That's why I'm thinking, yeah, it has to be Here. something beyond them, beyond her. I have you ever have, played like, any iteration, which there's about 30 of them at this point, of Skyrim? Skyrim? No, I haven't. <laughs> okay. There are what are called sliders, and during mm -hmm. the character customization screen, you can move these sliders... And it's a pretty common video game feature. You can change the look of your character by moving a slider all the way to one end, all the way to the other. Now, what I'm thinking is that this may be somewhat of a simulation theory hmm. plot line in which this deity gives people within this sphere the ability hmm. to move that slider all the way to zero with their power set so unavoidable it it reduces your movement to zero right undead it reduces your damage all the way to zero mm -hmm. you still get the pain but you just can't die from it right uh, for fuko it's like <laughs> she's reducing the luck all the way to zero and then just crazy things right. happen in the simulation right huh I wonder what would be the... I mean, I guess when it comes to series, any kind of series, whenever you put, like, a god, somebody that plays god or something like that, mm -hmm. I guess that person would have to be bored as hell. He's yeah, just doing just, shit. he's playing a video game. Which is kind of cool, because if we say that's an in-game thing, say all this stuff is, you know, how we were saying it, Yeah. Fuko has to have a conversation with this person, because her power is so... There, there is a big difference between hers and everybody else's. She doesn't necessarily have control compared to everybody else, which is interesting. So far that we've seen. I mean, so it was far. brought up this episode, yeah. Yeah, and then of course, you know, with Andy, his immortality. I mean, he would want to die, but he can still control his power. You know, the way he's moving and stuff. But Fuko is like, I mean, sure, she can hug, kiss, and do all this stuff. But, like, that's the limit to it. And that's a very natural thing to do for her. Like you said, the slider is, like, all the way up one way or all the way down another way based off of, you know, whatever the, uh, I guess, the main skill or uh, power it, or ability is. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. That, yeah, that, th this episode was wild. It got us theorizing a lot. You've been theorizing a lot since you had uh, Avante, read it. I kid you not. I have been thinking about this nonstop <laughs> since I read it. And I don't know why in God's green earth did I decide to stop reading right there. I They hey, might man. get a little bit into the fight. But honestly, this is the point where I was just like, oh, Undead Unluck is a different type of series. Like, I don't think I've ever mm -hmm. like, just the possibilities of this one episode alone. I'm just like. Oh, got to take it a deep It was meant breath. to be this way. It's fate, you know? <laughs> we reacting to it on Moving Eclipse. We got space stuff. Another show with some space things space. into it. So, hey, maybe that was just fate. <laughs> maybe the universe said, hey, how about you hold off, wait for about a year with your boy, and react to it <laughs> on the channel. So Got to be fate. Yep. Damn, that was a good episode, too. Damn, both Free Run and this gave us a lot of discussion for the end around the same recording time too so yeah if you guys watch both come thank here you. to watch both with <laughs> us <laughs> thank you every week but you got any that uh anything else to say before we head out no i i pretty much hijacked this end cap discussion so if there's <laughs> so, anything you'd like to add go ahead <laughs> um hmm. 
no, nah, we just ready for for that vodka in Russia. Um, I don't drink, but Andy he, he seems like he like he likes to drink, so um, I'm, <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> so, so without further ado, I hope you guys all have a good one. So please stay safe, stay healthy, stay clean. See you all. Uh, see you all in the next video. <laughs> and peace. peace. <laughs> oh, I love this YouTube stuff.